Hi, this is Jennifer with City Farmhouse Antiques and I'm here with the find of the week. And this week I want to talk to you about something that's native to New Mexico. And I have a great new find I want to show you. And this is another one. These are what we call pottery storytellers, which have their background in New Mexico and um, they're very very actually unique to our state and so of course you know figures and effigies were always done in clay you know way back in ancient times but um, back in 1964 a woman by the name of Helen Cordero was actually the first one to make what we call and what is known today as storyteller pottery and they tell a story and you can see they come in all different types and all different kinds. Um, a lot of them have children in them. And her story is really neat because she had already raised all of her children. And she was trying to make some extra money on the side by working with her cousin, doing a lot of leather and beadwork. And it was somebody in the family that told Juanita, her cousin, you know, why are you doing all this leather and beadwork when you're putting all your money back into materials when you could be making clay and you don't have to buy anything? Everything you need comes from Mother Earth. And so Juanita had learned um, to make pottery and, and, and different types of things as a child. And so she was trying to teach Helen because Helen had never learned you know how to do these things and, and here she was 45 and learning for the first time and after about six months she was still having a terrible time her bowls were coming out crooked she was ready to give it up and I like the story because I think we've all been there and so she decided she just started doing something different and started making like shapes of people and so she took her shapes of people to the fair and um, somebody came and, and bought all of them. And they began to have quite a following. And so in 1964, she made what was known as her first storyteller. And she had made one after her grandfather, um, who was, a, you know, of course, a male figure um, on the Pueblo and storyteller. So there were a lot of children, including herself, all around her grandfather listening to stories and so that's how this got started and now um, there are a lot of artists that are making these pieces um, all over there's as many as 300 potters now in 13 pueblos that create storytellers these don't happen to be Helen Cordero's um, pieces these are from other storytellers um, but her actual first piece that, that was done uh, as part of the Alexander Gerard collection in the Museum of International Folk Art in Santa Fe today. And if you haven't been to New Mexico, you definitely should be on your bucket list. I mean, we have such a unique state that's near and dear to my heart because I've spent really my whole life here. Um, but everything from our National Balloon Fiesta in the fall to going to see the Pueblos, um, you, you must have an Indian taco. It's incredible. Um, our Mexican food, our culture, our chili. It's just a very unique state that's very near and dear to my heart. And pottery and art is also very near and dear, um, to a lot of people here and so unique. And these are, you know, really an example of that. And so you can see, you know, the closer that you can get, you can see the detail you know, on these pieces and how many people um, or effigy figures that you might have around one of these. This one has quite a few, um, but you can see it's even got the cat in it. And I believe this one has the dog, the dog in it as well. Like I said, I've been wanting to do this and I figured I better do it today. This piece sold, it's headed to California. Such a beautiful piece, very unique. And then here is a little bowl with these cute little girls that have their little ribbons in their hair. I don't know why my camera won't focus. And then you can see over here, you've got like a turtle, a little turtle effigy. 
that all these little children are sleeping on. And you can see how intricate and detailed every piece is. This little guy has his football. I shouldn't be picking him up like that. This little guy has his watermelon. This little guy is cute. He's, he's actually, she's holding maybe like her baby brother. And so there are all kinds, but they're very intricate, very detailed. Um, they're neat pieces to put, you know, on a shelf, um, you know, somewhere in the house if you have a collection of pottery, Native American pottery. Um, they make a really good conversation piece. Um, they're just very unique. They're not something that you see everywhere or that you can find everywhere. And with that, check out our website at www.cityfarmhouseantiques.com where we have more than just antiques and be sure to come like us on Facebook.